It gives exactly the quality of light that we need. A light that does not attract unnecessary attention, but at the same time shows details and areas of composition that we consider important. So now, it's time to light our model. Hello friends, today we are recording a video lesson on staging lighting in photography. Let's take a look at the basic setup. In our studio we have a long dark room with high windows and some elements of interior. The idea is to shoot a crazy artist image. Our model will be wearing a transparent dress and will be splashed in red from head to toe. We would like to create a surreal and fairy tale lighting. Let's get going. So, we prepared our composition and interior. The model has been splashed with paint from head to foot, and we have the artist's props. Let me explain the meaning of our image. It's rather paradoxical and fancifying. So, we built the lighting based on this logic. I think it should be some kind of spotted lighting, and there should be a mixture of two colors, warm and cold light. And we start building our light from behind. There we have a window, and from this window we will have some kind of light source, which will be the main direction of the light. Let's try. The first fixture we will use is the light coming from the window. Here we will have to use a little trick, as unfortunately we cannot place the light on the street to shine through the window, as we are high up. So we will place the light source directly in the center of the window. I'm using a Dado Light DLED4 bicolor fixture because we can easily manage the color temperature. We don't want to have a light stand or cables in our frame, so the D-LED light will be battery operated. And attached to the glass window with a sucker mount. Let's try some options. Firstly, we will place the light fixture almost right in the center of the window frame to see what light it will give us. Turn it on. We will set the light at the widest beam angle because we need a fairly wide coverage. Although the maximum angle of this DLED light is very wide, the beam is still too narrow. So we add a dado light wide angle attachment to the light fixture to make the beam spread even wider. Let's 
Вот таким образом мы получили достаточно широкий луч. Now we are satisfied with the light spread and quality. По своему качеству и по своему цвету. The color is set to bluish, which looks like night. Со стороны улицы будет идти голубоватое освещение. Но, как вы можете сейчас увидеть с основной камеры, нас не очень устраивает расположение прибора. I'm not satisfied with the position of the light, which is right in the middle of the window. Прямо посередине стекла. It will be seen in the picture. Это будет вызывать ощущение, ну, непосредственно лампочки, которые там находятся. Поэтому в данном случае... I need to move the light to the very edge of the frame. Чтобы он был на самой границе кадра, но при этом не попадал. So it doesn't get in the picture. Let's try. This is a much more suitable position for us. A little bit of light is still visible in our frame, but this is very easy to fix afterwards in Photoshop. Единственное, что нам требуется поправить в данном расположении, мне кажется, что нужно часть света отсечь. The only thing that we need to do now is cut off the light hitting the grey wall behind the model. Вот эту шторку мы прикроем. Так, чтобы свет на стену не попадал. We now have a beam of light behind us, which suits us in the direction and color. Ну что же, мы получили сзади световой поток, который нас устраивает по направлению и по цвету, но не очень подходит нам сюжет. I now want to add a little bit of fairy tale character to the background. I'm going to break up the light beam to add different colors and textured spots. So, how do we do this? The next light we use is another Dado-Lite focusable bicolor LED fixture. And again, it is easy to manage the color. This time, the hard beam hits the wall directly. I'm also using this glass bottle to distort the beam coming from the light. In principle, you could use other glass objects to distort the light. This gives us very good and interesting highlights and textures. You can see for yourself. We can play with the color, but in this case, I want it to be the same color as the main light from the window. Moving the bottle changes the effect on the wall. The effects are good, but from my point of view, there are not many of them. I think it's a good idea to add more texture spots on the floor. To do this, we use a large 650-watt dado light fixture, which gives a warm tungsten light. Why such a powerful light? Because we need to pierce the very dark surface of the floor with light. So we need very high brightness. Let's turn it on. We'll see what we get. Too uniform a spot in my opinion, so we'll apply the same effect that we did on the previous device. To do this, we'll take another bottle that we found in the studio, place it on a light stand, and with this simple device, once again we'll distort the light beam. This time onto the floor. Friends, at this point, I suggest that you slow down a little and evaluate the overall composition of the frame, see what we've done well and what is not so good. From my point of view, we have a beautiful and interesting textured light, but there is not enough detail in the frame and not enough sense of space. For this, I think that we need to highlight a little bit of the far corner of the room. Let's see how we do it. So, for this purpose, we'll use a small halogen dado light, 150 watts. We won't use it directly because it will be very hard and attract too much unnecessary attention to that area. Plus, it gives hard shadows. Плюс дает жесткие тени. Но мы достаточно легко исправим эту ситуацию и сделаем свет намного мягче. We make the light softer by putting a diffuser in front of the beam of hard light. 
The easiest way to do this is with the translucent reflector, which we will place in front of the light. It gives exactly the quality of light that we need. A light that does not attract unnecessary attention, but at the same time shows details in areas of composition that we consider important. Now, I suggest once again, evaluate the frame as a whole. It seems to me that what we've done in the space is enough, quite satisfactory. So now, it's time to light our model. The first light we will set is the key light, which is located at the front and to the side of the model. We will make this light hard, so it will match the overall harmony of the other lights. So we use another dado light halogen light source, 150 watts. Let's turn it on and see what happens. From my point of view, if we use it directly, it looks too artificial and staged. So we apply the same idea that we used in the background. We use another glass bottle to distort the light beam. This gives us a very interesting structure of spots. Let's see, everything seems to be fine, but not enough, just a couple of small details. Let's figure out what. First, by lighting the left side of our model, we have created too many deep shadows on her right side. This is not very good for our picture. It would also be nice to see in the picture the paint that we have splattered on the model. So we have to light the shadowed side. We use another dado light halogen light source, 150 watts. We don't use it directly, as it will create a second key light. So to fix this, we firstly set the fixture slightly to the side, at an angle to the model. Secondly, there is another beautiful device that looks like this. It's a small diffuser which we can place in front of the light beam in order to make it much softer. Here you can see the result. From my point of view, I'll add another small detail. I'd like to highlight the outline of the model and lighten her transparent dress a little. Therefore, on a straight line between the camera and the model, We'll have one more LED fixture, which we will set up as the backlight. Why LED? Because this one is battery operated, so we don't have to Photoshop out the wires lying on the floor. Let's turn it on and see what we get. And one small final touch. I would really like to see the hair in the shot. How to do it? If we direct the hard light fixture to partially fall a little bit into the camera lens, we will create optical artifacts through internal optical reflections. To do this, we will position a hard light opposite the camera lens. Turn it on. You can now see what happens. The overall color temperature of the frame is warm. So we'll add an orange tint to this light with a color filter, like this. So we've added atmosphere to the air and created some artifacts in the frame. At this point, we can go directly to the shooting. Well, friends, we got the frame that they wanted, and I think it turned out interesting. I hope you liked the lesson we did. 
But in the end, I would like to express a very deep thought in my philosophy. When you do this kind of plot, it would be nice to think in advance how to wash the model afterwards. Well, that's it. I would like to say thanks to all the people that helped us make this lesson. The wonderful crew from Lumi Studio, our hosts from the obscure studio where we filmed, and of course, all the guys who helped. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.